Mm. That's the age old discussion, mate. Damn sure I know which side of the fence I sit on. Over and under versus side by side. Mm. You hate side by sides with a passion. Yes, I have a strong hatred for them. And I like them about 30%. I like your classic double side by side. You like side by sides that are over and unders? Yeah. I've brought a modern side by side to not convince you, but to have a comparison of side by side versus over and under. This is a Webley and Scott Kilworth, brand new for a couple of grand. It's got slimline chokes that mean you don't have barrel swelling, which keep the weight kind of nice. Three inch chambered, steel proof, Prince of Wales semi pistol grip stock, black point laser checkering. It's got black with some gold inlay. It's, it's a very, Good looking thing, actually. We both agreed on that. It looks the part. It doesn't look anything that it's not. This is a good modern workhorse gun, scroll back action, flat rib, single trigger. So I figured at least you can't complain about double triggers. No, that is a good point. It's got a single trigger. It's got a nice big rib to look down. Should be no excuses as to why I can't use it. No, should be none at all, but I'm sure you'll find some. Definitely because I don't like side-by-sides. However- Why let's... not? There you go, let's start open up. Why don't you like side-by-sides? Because I can't shoot them. And it feels like I don't have hold of them properly on the fore end because you have to do that silly little sideways thumb thing. And then when you use big horrendous cartridges like I like to use, you get a horrendous muzzle flip that pulls it out of your hand and feels unsafe. Have you ever thought that maybe it would be a more pleasant thing if you used an appropriate cartridge for an appropriate gun? Yes, but then what I'm shooting it won't die as much. And that is all you're concerned with? Yes. I think maybe well herein fair. lies the side-by-sides <laughs> thing, that perhaps they're not for you. They're more of a gentleman's gun, clearly. Well, you're thinking like a little two-inch paper case, a beautiful old little lightweight cartridge, probably would be quite nice through that. Am I gonna be good enough to kill something with that? Probably not. So I'm gonna stick something bigger, heavier, more aggressive and, and that'll painful. help all of your talent. My talent will go through the roof with that. All right, well, if I can beat you with this whilst discussing the benefits of side-by-sides and why perhaps they do have a place, because I'm gonna play devil's advocate as a big over and under fan that over and under suck and we should all move back to side-by-sides. I think that you might have to wear the furry hat. Oh, but I don't wanna wear the furry hat. Well, you best shoot straight then, come on. Now there's nothing painful about that. There's no recoil to it. The picture was magnificent. The gun moved nicely. Both targets died. I'm happy. So what you're saying is you don't like recoil because you like too big a cartridge. Yes. And you don't know how to handle a gun that isn't heavy. Yes, well, I thought we have already agreed this when we did 20 bar versus 12 bar that I can't handle small light guns. <laughs> <laughs> that may well be the case, but I think there's certainly a place for them, right? Yeah. If you're carrying a gun all day, a side by side is definitely the better option if we're talking about steel action guns than an over and under. The fact that that action is so much thinner and smaller allows for much less metal, and that's good. May I have a go with it? I mean, please do. Two easy targets, if I hit both of them, will be two more than I normally hit with a side-by-side. -side. <laughs> Although, mean... I do like the black action on this and a little gold inlay. I think it's quite cute. All right, there you go, so... So it turns out that this Webley and Scott is zeroed in. And the one that I used previously wasn't zeroed in. There's definitely more recoil than an over -nunder. Yeah. But I think you have to learn to live with that if you want a lighter, more gentlemanly, beautiful gun. If we just take a minute to observe, grab your gun, and just hold them back to back. Come on, admit, the lines of a side by side are significantly better. They're, they're much more ladylike, I would say. They look like the curvaceous lines on a lady's body. And so what's this, masculine? This is masculine, this is alpha, this is... All right, now just cock this over your arm, all right? Carry that over your arm and tell me that that is not a nicer feel over your arm because of that wide action. I would like to tell you, but as soon as I put a service out of my arm, I can't help but talk with a plumbing one's mouth. Yeah, you can't really want to talk to a peasant like me. Exactly. No, no, now hold this. Much more weight, much less <laughs> refined action. 
All right, Mash, yeah, it's great. <laughs> yeah, all right, and now, now, hold it over your shoulder, hold it over your shoulder, right? Oh, yeah. see? One good one in your life. This oh, I'm a virgin. You You're telling me? <laughs> oh, I'm a virgin. You're telling me that that's not a nicer barrel to hold that way around? No, I get what you're saying. It's lighter weight for carrying about. It does uh, sit better, because you've got a larger surface Well, area I don't think it's necessarily larger, but it, it spreads the weight with less weight. It's generally more rounded. It's a nicer shape. It cocks less degree-wise, so you're not having that harsh angle on your shoulder. It's a, definitely a better gun to carry. A Cyberside is a long-range shooter's gun. Okay. Okay. I'll give you that. So, I think, as I pick up a Cyberside -side, every time I do, I feel like more of a gentleman, and not in, like, the way that you plumb in your mouth. Like, I think more like Gentleman Spy, James Bond, that kind of thing. He shoot a side by side. In fact, he had a side by side double rifle in Skyfall because he's cool. cool. Yeah. There is a side by side double rifle. It's just side by side, man. The way this moves is just inherently more elegant. They, they really are, from a snobbery perspective, genuinely better to have. So if I was going to go shoot some partridges over a hedgerow in Spain, you'd take us over and under because I know that's the actual truth. It is the truth. However, I would see that being in place more than if I was gonna go to say that delicious shoot we went to in North Wales with Geraint, shooting high pheasants. Because you need to see lines better, right? And I see that the visual picture from a side-by-side -side doesn't give you the clarity of line of what you do with an over and under. There's a lot more going on in the line of shot, for sure. You've got two barrel tubes that kind of protrude either side of your raised rib, and if you have a, a swamped or concave rib, you're, you're even worse. Yeah. You, you feel, you, you, as Simon Reinhold would say, you flow more with a side-by-side, -side, and you do. They are much more of a paintbrush than a hand grenade. Yes, but you've just used the magic name, Simon Reinhold. The man's a gentleman, the man's a scholar, the man is a beautiful human being. I'm not, I'm an animal. This I is like true. to destroy yeah. things. <laughs> I like to use grenades. Simon uses big words. Yeah, you're not I well don't. known for those. I don't even know big words. Lots of four-letter swear words. Yeah. You're very, very well known for those. Yes. So, horses for courses, is it not? Uh, yes. I'll I... go and get my Benelli. Simon can shoot this lovely little side-by-side. -side, and we'll see who wins in a swearing contest. Hey, it's me. <laughs> you see, I know Simon well enough to know that you'd probably give you a run for your money in a swearing contest as well. Do I feel good shooting this. You do? Yeah, and this is not the most svelte and delicious side-by-side. -side. It's a good example of a modern one, but you know, it's not my Woodward. I think a side-by-side -side is a certain fashion piece. There's certainly an area for one, and as a shooter, let's say I was doing certainly a lot of the American cyber fields was a lot of walking. A sub-gauge side-by-side -side would be my preference. The weight saving, the each beautiful ease of carrying, the better geometry for carrying is superior to just about every over and under. You have to work quite hard to get an over and under to feel as beautiful as this or spend quite a bit of money. Whereas you can buy a nice side by side for under 2000 that will give you that feel. I agree. But that's not what we do. Exactly. So perhaps that's not who we are. And that's an important thing to remember. I think that it's had an unfair chance here today, that gun, because Neither of us shoot side-by-sides on a regular basis. We both choose to shoot over and unders. Or semis. Or semis. But guns are there for everybody, right? It's, it's, this is true. There is every type of gun for every different style, every different like and dislike in the world. And I think if you had somebody here, like Simon, who could tell you all the real truths about it and why well, he likes certainly, it. Certainly, it's a very valid and important point that you can write poems about most old English side-by-sides. You pick them up, you fall in love with probably 50%, the stories they could tell, the work, the romance. The romance of even this side-by-side, -side, which is brand new out of Turkey, is superior to an over and under of the same ilk, I would argue. Like, they, they, they speak to your soul in a different way to an over and under. An over and under is a hammer, this is a paintbrush. See, you shoot that more beautifully than any other gun I've seen you shoot. So I think maybe you are a side-by-side -side guy. Do you think? You think I'm like a, a closet side-by-side -side guy? You're definitely a closet gentleman. <laughs> <laughs> I think perhaps I am a closet side-by-side -side guy, but I'm just not prepared to come out of the closet just yet about my side-by-side -side look. Okay. I feel like a good mate of mine said to me once, there's plenty of time for being an old man. 
exactly that. And I think perhaps that I'm not ready to be an old man just yet. TGS 2027. And we'll all be there with hammer action, Damascus barrels. You, you see, know. if I could afford a 28 gauge hammer gun, I would shoot one for the rest of my life. <laughs> and I think I'd be very happy doing so. Because that's I'd like, be very happy about that, because I'd beat your ass around every ground we went to. Oh, it'd be a first time for everything. <laughs> You shoot that better than you shoot your gun, mate. Certainly more beautifully. Like, your movement with it is so silky. <laughs> and you can't deny it. It might not be the most efficient way of shooting, but a side-by-side, -side, and a lot of shooting isn't even about efficiency. If we wanted to eat pheasants, we'd grow them on a farm. and would gas them like we do chickens. So the difference I see with this side-by-side -side, compared to most side-by-sides we shoot, this has a much higher cone. And a longer stock. And a longer stock. And generally, most side by sides, you, especially with somebody with a facial build up like mine. Glorious cheekbones. Cheek yeah. <laughs> Big cheekbones. And a nice, you know, you need a nice comb to fill that gap. And you don't generally get that, and I disappear behind the headstock. Whereas with this, it's lifting me up a little bit. I can see down the barrel, and I am, I've got to say, uh, so you say is. I like shooting it. You I, can't shoot side by sides because your cheekbones are too good. Yeah, basically. <laughs> I mean, we haven't really had a competition. But I feel like you now deserve this for the man with the worst excuses. You are the plonker, and as such, you get to wear this very fashionable. I mean, the hat's wonderful. The bauble is perhaps a little effeminate for you, but the hat is beautiful suede. And now you get to wear that for the next two stands. Well, can I wear it? No, you can't. That way. <laughs> no, you really can't. <laughs> no, please don't do that. I think that you must admit that this is a good thing. And Sash made a very good point in the way over here that sounds like you're just talking about 20 bore over and under. Well, yes, which is why sub gauge over and unders are really, really popular. Exactly. That's a, rather than take that out, I'd take my 20 bore and over and under. But, over come and on, under. just look. Doesn't that look nice? You've got the balls of the action, the fence is sticking out the side, two barrels. Are like, it's a beautiful thing. Well, there ain't nothing to hate about using one of these for drawing games. It really is what they were developed for, in, in all reality. I, just... I see that this is where I'll, it'll let me down. Beautifully shot, mate. Beautifully shot. It does move so well. All oh, so this is quite a heavy one. I, I prefer something a little lighter, but, you know, you don't get lighter and steel-proofed. Those two things don't go hand in hand. Shooting and, although this isn't an advert for the gun, because I think if someone gave me two grand, I would probably go probably to, to Holtz and pick up something with a bit of history and a bit of whatever. But, it's but style, a bit of class. You can put your heavy bombs through this, but steel through this, and there's a lot of benefits to that. And you have to accept this heavier accordingly. Go on. Take mine, have a couple of shots with mine, and tell me which one you enjoyed shooting the driven targets with more. Well, it's not always about enjoyment. It's also about looking good. You look pretty good with that in your hand, mate, apart from that silly hat. Is that because of the sight picture you used to look at it with the side by side now? No. Because I... if using a side by side is going to make me worse with my over and under, I can't afford to get any worse. And that is a very good reason not to have a side by side if you're predominantly over and under shooting. They are a different beastie. I'll tell you what, the deliberate feel of an over and under is not so nice on driven birds. Shoot that. I've seen you shoot thousands of driven birds with this, both clays and real. Shoot it with that and tell me that that isn't actually a slightly better feel. Okay. We'll you feel the line of the bird more because you pull out through it. Whereas an over and under, you can still kind of see around it and you're trying to place it a little bit because that's how you shoot over and unders, generally speaking. Shoot that. Tell me that's not good. Okay. A report, B, full of bust in pairs. Genuinely shoot that so much smoother than your gun. Do you think? Yeah. What do we, I'll look forward to you watching this video and go, oh, he's right. I see what you're saying about the whole feel of it with driven targets, and it does lend itself well to that because of the sight picture. You can sit it between the two barrels, you can pull through with your line, you get the line better, and it's... It, you're it, less hesitant to yes. just do what you're supposed to do. And it is a natural flick of the gun through the target. Whereas with an over and under, you tend to try and look for that gap a little bit more, and your eye's looking down the side of it. And you look really good shooting it. I know it's not just saying <laughs> it because it's upside, you do look really smooth with that gun. Thank you, mate. But I think I'm going to stay on my over and under if that's okay. Admit it. What? Admit it. 
Just admit it. It's okay. It's better than okay. It's okay. Side by sides are better than okay. <laughs> They're okay. Come on. <laughs> Come on, squeeze, squeeze a compliment. Try it. I know they're It's rare. nice on driven stuff. Seems to be nice for you out there on a bit compact as well. It's nice. That's all I was looking for. <laughs> side by side are nice. They Perhaps have a place. It's a generational thing, I feel. That I'm from a generation where side by sides were not the go-to gun. I've grown up shooting over and unders. They feel natural in my hand, 90% of them. This feels alien to me. But and yet, you look so natural with it and you move it so well. Well, maybe there's room for one in the cabinet for a trial. We're working on it. I've been working on you with Cyber Sides for a year. This is the furthest we've got. We've discussed all the differences. We've discussed the applications. Of course, they're non-comparable. The Cyber Side is beautiful. It's elegant. The over and under is a machine. And that's why you like it, because you think you're one too. But which one's better? Over and under. <laughs> Over and unders are better. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for watching, guys. This channel is made possible by our amazing sponsors. You can find out more about them in the description down below. And if you want to support the channel, you can join as a member. You get loads of extra content, well, some extra content, and occasionally we hook up and go clay shooting together as a membership group. If you don't feel like joining today, we really appreciate you watching and subscribing. Have a wonderful day.